Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and you are watching Dexter's World. There are three significant things that I would like to report to you today. The first one is the development of this property. Actually, this property is very deep. That's why we made some effort to fill this with filling materials. I am going to make this or convert this in the future as our quail farm. And also, we will construct here a big greenhouse for our lettuce. The production of our lettuce had been so well that we are going now to launch a permanent site for us to sell our lettuce. And I utilize the pet store as our permanent site for the lettuce. I have here actually these tarps. We will hang this at the pet store and we will of course inform the public that we are now selling fresh lettuce. Fresh from the mini greenhouse that we have established here right at the backyard and i would like to once again thank julius carl the j and g's uh, lettuce backyard for uh, his continued support with this project and we are envisioning to also plant some fruits and maybe fruiting vegetables like tomatoes like squash and so many and through hydroponic system and another thing that we can report to you is the massive hatching of the quail eggs that we have there at the incubator and actually I am set now to make some cage for the chicks of this quail. Before that, just allow me to make an update also about the geese that we have just transferred over there. Actually, they already have adjusted with this uh, new place. I hope that they will lay their eggs. I am really very challenged and uh, I have to make some good effort to make this uh, geese farm productive so come on let's go here uh, we will be careful whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay so all these are temporary and uh, I understand your concern about the the predators but uh, in this place we cannot find any lizard because this is a place where uh, there is no hiding place for the lizards the snakes or even the birds we cannot see them here but in the farm there are a lot of them so you will see right here that the geese are adjusting they are now very brave <laughs> highly territorial see that Okay, you will see that they are very noisy. They are actually helping us to detect if there are some intruders at night. They are here and of course they are our guard because if some intruders would attempt to get inside, they will make noise. So this is it. How are you guys? And we have here this uh, swimming pool but we are changing the water every now and then and I made this uh, temporary shelter for them if they gonna lay their eggs of course they will just get inside and we will provide them with uh, nest uh, boxes another thing that we have to do right here is the temporary cage also for our turkeys uh, we already have made uh, fences we erected the post of course and today we will use the net we will enclose this one for the turkeys and everything is not final yet because we have to decide first whether to you know fix the enclosures i'm still hoping that we can 
get some more properties over there. This uh, property is really very vacant and I hope that God will grant the desires of my heart. When I started with this lettuce farming, I really had this doubt whether I can dispose the, the lettuce uh, quickly. But the problem is the supply because if I will sell this one to my friends, this 200 cups will automatically be sold. So my intention is uh, to you know, gradually dispose this because I wanted that the people will be accustomed to you know, going the place at the pet store and then buy this, uh, this vegetables. So you will see here that we're expanding and uh, this uh, fresh lettuce is really best if you are on diet of course. I reduce my weight so much because of this diet using the lettuce. This is an encouragement also that if you don't have that big space, vast tract of land to plant your crops, well, this uh, hydroponics is one of the answers to that problem. And you can grow this one very easily if you have this uh, nutrient solution and you use this PVC pipes and of course this uh, styrocaps as our growing bed. So no problem. You will just uh, use a little amount of these nutrients and you can grow massive of this uh, lettuce. If you would like to know about the mechanics of this, of course, I can recommend the uh, JNG's uh, Backyard Lettuce on YouTube. You can browse on it and he has revealed so many secrets about this hydroponic. Ten days from now, we're gonna be transferring this to the styro caps and we will place them of course in the recovery area and then we will put them inside in the PVC pipes and uh, you will see that uh, there are plenty of them <laughs> more than 2,000 I think what do you think <laughs> more than 2,000 okay let me share something also about this uh, seedling tray of course the seedling tray has these holes at the bottom and we will put this or we will hang this one so that the air or oxygen could just you know pass through it and it will of course have good growth of our seedlings and you will see that this is not placed under the direct sunlight we have this uh, transparent roofings these are massive and we can grow plenty of lettuce two weeks from now so we will go to the quail I'm so happy because today we were able to gather some one tray of these eggs. You see that? And these are all fertile eggs. By the way, there are two kinds of eggs that we can produce. If we will produce fertile eggs, we will use the male quails inside the breeding pen. And if we will just produce the table eggs, of course, we don't need the male quails. We don't need the cocks. We need only the female, and then they will lay eggs for uh, consumption purposes. This now be, of course, placed inside in the incubator. And in the near future, we can sell uh, maybe fertile eggs or chicks, whatever you want, we can do this. And I'm so happy because the local department stores, uh, the malls, have contacted me if I can, you know, serve them with quail eggs by the thousands. And this is the inspiration that drives me because if we're going to produce some thousands of eggs like before, of course, that's a big money to earn. So now you will see our cage, the new cage that we, are, we have fabricated right here. So this is it. We will cut this one for our uh, door. We will cover everything right here. So we will use this one and uh, 
Okay, we will cut this one. We will make some rivet and this will accommodate how many chicks? More than uh, 300 chicks for maybe a couple of days. But we are due to transfer them, of course. After they get big, then we will transfer them to a bigger space. This is not the usual cage that we use for egg production. The floor of this is flat. It's not uh, inclined, but we will use this as our temporary cage for the babies. So Edgar will do this. And for the meantime, let's go to the pet store and we will get all the chicks. Come on, let's go. So we are here now to get our third batch. Actually, this is the third batch that we have hatched in the incubator. And they are already big. Actually, they're more than 30 days old. That's uh, 40 days old to be exact. And this will again form part of our uh, breeders, soon to be breeders. And we'll lay eggs, plenty of eggs, so that we can start selling chicks to the public. So with the use of this, of course, uh, we can get all of them and there are other batches that we're gonna get right at the first branch of our pet store. So Toto, can you get this one? So these are the chicks that I've been mentioning to you. They have grown already and one of the things that also I would like to emphasize when doing the quail farm is your care of the chicks. From day one up to day 15, they really need this one, this uh, light, because they would really die if we will not provide them with a very warm temperature. And you look at this, we utilize the damaged aquarium for them to temporarily recover. Of course, this is not the permanent place for them because we are grooming them for 15 days. And now, I think we can lift them and transfer them to a bigger space. Okay, now there.
And finally, we're here and we were going to transfer all these quails right here. We are going to separate them because we cannot put them in the main cage because these birds are highly territorial. So if we will put them or mix them together with the adult ones, of course, this will become a uh, stress. They will damage their, especially the necks and uh, their wings and all in all we already have 500 future breeders see that and in handling this we have to bear in mind that this uh, quails at this age are very delicate they can easily die when they are so stressed wow as what I have told you, this is going to be a temporary place for them because we are scheduled to fabricate a more permanent and bigger space for these birds. We only had started with barely two dozens of these breeder quails and it's good that we were able now to hatch our own eggs. And I hope guys you are encouraged with this video and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now only here at Dexter's World. Yeah.